Listen up. I'm the captain. The teams are chosen by a lottery system where Hey, you... Karen, can I be on your team? Yeah, yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll take uh, Meg, Skinny, Hot Chocolate, and the bus. Hey, time out. Did anyone tape the parade? Please tell me someone taped the parade. No, I don't. Oh. Hi, Dad. Look, I, I just want you to know I feel bad about what happened with you and Aunt Karen the other day. Oh, you mean when she put me in that no-bottom James Bond chair and assaulted my grundle? That's right. And that's why you need to confront Karen. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I can't do that. I tried for years to stand up to her. Nothing ever worked. What? So now you're going to quit? You can't quit. What if Muhammad Ali had quit? Dad, I know you can stand up to Aunt Karen. And maybe if you finally do, she'll stop terrorizing you and you won't have to take it out on me for the rest of my life. You know what, Meg? You're right. I'm going to do it. Hey, Meg, Thanksgiving's over. Come help me with the Christmas decorations. Meg! Help me with the Christmas decorations! Comments? Questions? What the hell are you- I'm sorry, Chris had his hand up first. Chris? Now, what's the capital of Maryland? I do not know, but that's a very good question. Now, Lois. Now, Lois. The only way to settle a family dispute is in the cage. I mean, you don't understand. Karen made me feel worse than a guy getting cut from a baseball team. You wanted to see me, coach? I'm sorry, Kyle. You can't do this boring, stupid thing with us. Uh, th it, this, this fat guy? Yep. Go on. Ask him anything. I, wh how did, uh, why, why are you so fat? Okay, ask him about anything but his weight. Uh. All right, Peter. Most professional wrestlers become addicted to painkillers at some point. So I figure, why don't we just start now? Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm in. Where are you getting all these? Stepdaughter's purse. Okay, now if you're gonna defeat your sister in the ring, you gotta get to the root of your fears. We gotta go back to your childhood, so I'm gonna hypnotize you. Okay, go back. Now we need to go back in time. I see the six stations of the Lord's Order, and they will all burn! Okay, too far, too far, too far. Come back, come back, come back. It's over, and once again, a heavy flow has ruined another lady's evening. You ain't no champ. Heavy flow always finding a way to drop her Harvard degree into conversation. Yes, very off-putting, Bill. Those of us who went to Harvard really don't appreciate it. She's taking it too far. Heavy Flow is gonna break this girl's arms. Woman's arms. Come on, Bill. No! Don't do it! Say hello to Teen Laquifa! I love you too, Meg. Did somebody order a hot ass bitch in this lady? Well, I'm proud of you, Dad. You finally stood up for yourself. So, Peter, have you talked to Karen? I called like four times, but she's not out of the coma yet. Do they think she's going to survive? It could go either way. <whistles> Hello? No, I think I'm a different blood type. No, I don't want to check. Doctor says there's nothing they can do. Ugh, look at Miss Tammy. What a skank. She's free muffin it at a baby school. Oh, hi, Mrs. Griffin. You know, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about Stewie. I'm concerned that he might have an attention problem. What? Drugging a baby? Are you sure? That sounds so serious. I'm afraid his behavior has been an issue for a while. He's even been bothering students during nap time. Hey, where's Stewie? Oh, he's probably sleeping off his pills. What? Well, the school said he had an attention problem, so Dr. Hartman gave him a prescription. You're giving a one-year-old drugs? You're doping up a baby. Peter, are you okay with this? Welcome to Pillow World, Bry. Let me get up and greet you. There we go. 
Still on those meds, huh? Uh, yeah. They, uh, they helped me to, um... God, look what those pills are doing to you. Putting you on that stuff was a huge mistake. Like inviting a turtle to a cocktail party. See, this is how American society treats unique, enthusiastic children. Instead of embracing their mental gifts, their first reaction is to shoot them up with hardcore drugs until they're mindless sheeple. You know, a lot of kids in my school take ADD pills. They say if you're lazy and unmotivated, it makes you super energized and productive. Re really? Productive? Focus, huh? Okay, well, Stewie, these babies can help the garbage disposal focus, because that's where they're going. No need to follow me, because I just said what I was going to do. Pouring out of me! I have more energy than a guy who caught a t-shirt! <laughs> My wife can wear this to sleep! My wife can wear this to sleep! Come on, Rupert, wait, wait till you see this. This is really something special. Check out how much water is in the dehumidifier. Brian? Is that, is that, uh, is that, uh, you? Stewie, rearrange. Uets, rearrange. Weest, restore. Stewie, hey, come see what I've been working on. It's a medieval sci-fi universe adaptable to TV, movies, toys, games, and mobile apps. I threw together a 2,000-page treatment last night, and I just figured the hell with it. Why not build a scale model and record voices for all the characters? It's then illegal? What? Hello? Stewie! Stewie's Canal! You're here! We gotta get going! Going? What? Okay, before we go, I should wet my eyes. There. That's him! George R. R. Martin! God, he must be the coolest fat guy in a train conductor's cap in the world! God, I didn't realize how those drugs were ruining me creatively. I haven't been feeling quite right either. Yesterday I watched Chris shower for half an hour just because I thought it was the TV. I got the mail. Hey, does an octopus live here? Peter, that says occupant. Oh, that's too bad. That would have been awesome. Oh, look, Peter. Here's something from your mother's estate. Oh, sweetheart. You thinking about all the good times you had there? No, I'm thinking about my teenage porn stash. It's still hidden in the house. Uh, okay, but I know this is really about the memories. Lactating sluts on box springs. What happens when it hits DEFCON 1? We see a dog wearing a wig. Ah, heck, let's see that anyway. Hey, Peter, what's wrong? You've been real quiet. I don't know, Quagmire. I keep thinking of my old pornos. It's like I'm reminded of them everywhere I look. You've been looking at Cleveland a lot. Peter, I know exactly where you're coming from. You, Quagmire? You enjoy pornography too? Yep. And I know that a man's porn collection must be secured and protected at all costs until he gets ashamed of it and ditches it in an alley behind a Kroger's. Okay, you all remember the plan. We walk up wearing our Bill Cosby masks. Peter, that's President Obama. Oh, did I just do a racism? This guy used to live in your house, and a box of his old porn is still hidden in there. We were going to break in and take it. And I was going to stay with the rental van because it's my name what's on the contract. Pygao, you lose again. That was awesome. I can't believe these tables are always empty. You play again? Nope, out of money. I'm just going to wait for my drink. Who had the full glass of Goldschlager? Ah. Almost time for lunch. <sighs> How was everything? Delicious. The prime rib was mostly fat. How was Vegas? Oh, it's the best. I want to watch all of these movies nonstop. I don't want to watch any more of these movies ever. Hey, Brian, you want to go for a ride to Behind the Krogus? Mm, this is annoying. I don't want to sit through this. Man, I guess I ain't the big success I thought I'd be. I know what you mean, Peter. When I was young, I thought that someday I'd produce upworthy web content. Off the floor, off the scoreboard, off the backboard, no rim. Look at me. I was beautiful. 
What are you watching? It's just a teenage loser who didn't realize he had no future in front of him. Oh my God. He's just rhyming Danger Zone with Danger Zone. Holy crap. Whoa, 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 no TV for you, Chris. TV is how stupid losers spend their time. Peter, what is this all about? I'm trying to save our son, Lois. I don't want him to end up like me. Look, Peter, I'm glad you're thinking about Chris's future, but he's fine. He's a perfectly normal kid. Are you crazy? Look at him. He's over there intentionally giving himself a nosebleed. But, oh, boy, a little got in my mouth there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wash this shirt. Anyway, I'm gonna help Chris become a big, important success. The same way Mumford turned his son into a success.